Today we're going to be setting up our own self-hosted VPN. So we're going to be using Oracle Cloud's free tier to do this. So we're going to have complete control and private access to our own VPN. So this is the most secure and private way of doing it. It's also free if you follow this method. So we're obviously going to have the privacy and security of using a VPN. So this allows you to access services that sometimes are not available on your network or in your country. I think a lot of people watching this from places like Pakistan, Bangladesh, India, a lot of the North American services that we get for free um, are not always available. So you can use this method to get access to lots of things. Also lots of TV shows and videos and things that are region locked. You can watch them using a VPN. Lots of good reasons to use one. Uh, if you're using a free wireless connection at a library or school, you can protect your privacy with this as well. So lots of good reasons. Um, Oracle free tier allows you to do this free forever on their always free tier and very fast 480 megabit connection, much faster than any uh, free VPS servers you can find elsewhere and very big data allowance, 10 terabytes. You're never really gonna get near that on a typical home connection or mobile connection. So don't really have to worry about any limits with this. And you could run this on AWS or Google's free tier too. I'm using Oracle Oracle for this example, but any one of those will do just fine. Now, the only real limitation to doing this is it does require some setup, which I'm going to go through in this tutorial, but uh, limited to one location. So when you're choosing your location, just put some thought into it. If you want to access lots of content, pick a location in the USA. Most of your content is coming from the USA. Otherwise, if you're really concerned about privacy and anonymity, go for something like Switzerland or Netherlands that have strong privacy laws. But probably one of those uh, choices is going to be the right choice to locate your VPN. Um, other free alternatives besides self-hosting, there are places that will do a free VPN like ProtonVPN, TunnelBear, OpenCloud. Um, OpenVPN has a cloud service that's free that doesn't need hosting. Um, so all of these will have their own drawbacks. Mostly they're slow. Some of these have ads or limitations on what you can and can't do on the service. But um, by self-hosting, we get around all of that. We get free, we get um, unlimited and fast. So this is probably the best overall free method of, of running a VPN. As always, any commands and links that I use are going to be over on my blog at ideas.com.au. So check the description there. Um, you'll obviously need an Oracle account. So you can get a free tier Oracle account, oracle.com slash cloud slash free. Sign up there and you can get started. So Oracle have on their dev blog, they have a tutorial on how to launch your own free private VPN on Oracle Cloud. So this uses OpenVPN. You can follow the link here and it takes you to the Oracle Cloud Marketplace. They have a pre-built image with OpenVPN on here. You just have to click get app here. So you might get prompted to sign in uh, for the free tier. It's commercial market and you click sign in there. After signing in, you'll see OpenVPN is $0 per hour. You can launch this instance with this button there. We can give this a name, I'll call it OpenVPN Demo. Your image and shape is automatically set up. And if we scroll down, we just have to set up our SSH key. If you already have an SSH key, you can just paste it in here and use one like that. Or you can use whichever SSH software you prefer to generate an SSH key. I like to use Putty to do this. Putty comes with a few tools. One of them is Putty Gen, and we use that to generate keys. All we do here is click Generate and wiggle our mouse around in this blank area, and it will generate you a key. Great. Now we can go ahead and save this. I'll save the private key here. Um, you can choose to add a password if you like, but uh, you don't have to. If it's your own private computer, you don't really need one. Open VPN demo. Let's save that on there and let's save our public key as well. Uh, let's open VPN demo as well. So this is our public key. What we can do with this is we can copy this and paste it back into our Oracle instance here. So just paste that in. There we go. And we're pretty much good to go. We can click create now. After a minute or so, our instance will start running. Let's add a couple ports to our firewall so this will work. So we follow this link here and we go to our default security list. We're going to add a couple of ingress rules. We should have port 22 by default already. We're going to add a couple more here. So to do this, we put 0.0.0.0 um, slash .0, .0, 0 in source CIDR and the destination port range uh, 943 and comma 443. So those two ports, you can give it a description. I'll call it OpenVPN demo. And let's go ahead and add the ingress rule. So this will appear here with OpenVPN demo as a description. So this looks all good. Let's head back to our instance. So I've got instances there. We're working on our OpenVPN demo. That's the instance we just made. So here we go. So now we're going to connect to this IP address using SSH and we can complete our setup. So we're going to copy that IP address. Again, I'm using Putty, but you can use whichever SSH terminal you like. So I'll paste that IP address in here. Now the username is a little tricky. It says Ubuntu here, but actually we need to use the OpenVPN username to do this. 
So here we see it says OpenVPN AS in the tutorial. That's going to be our username. So I'm going to copy that. So we've got OpenVPN AS at our IP address there. I'm going to call this OpenVPN demo for our name. I'm going to save that in there. So we've got OpenVPN demo there. Also, we're going to go to SSH. We're going to add our key there. So that's under auth. We're going to browse to our private key that we built using Putty Gen. So just browse to where you've saved that private key and you'll see that private key in there. Then we can go back and save this again. We can open it now. So there we go. We've connected here. Now this will take a second, but we'll get prompted to uh, agree here. So we have to type yes in here. So Y E S enter uh, default. Yes. Enter uh, one for default. Yes. Enter, 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 enter. All these are default. And uh, you can leave this activation key blank. We're using the free version. So we get two free connections on our free version. So we can just enter that and let it do its thing. So this looks like it's all successful. We can access our OpenVPN web panel now. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to head to our HTTPS on our IP address and colon 943 for port 943 slash admin. So let's head there. You'll get an SSL warning here. We can skip through here and we'll get prompted for username and password. So let's set up a password for the admin here. So back in Putty, we run this sudo password OpenVPN, press enter going to prompt you for entering a new Unix password. So I'll paste a nice password in here with right click. There we go. And retype that. There we go. So I've pasted that in twice. We've got a new uh, password. So that's under OpenVPN. We can go ahead and sign in with those new credentials. Click sign in and agree. So this will give us our admin panel. First thing we have to change here is our server name. We have to change that to match our public IP address. So that is under config and network settings here. So we change that IP address to match our own IP address that we set up on Oracle and we go down and save that in. Next thing we do is under network settings and VPN settings. And here we scroll down to uh, DNS settings. Have clients use specific DNS servers? Yes, here. We're going to pop some DNS servers in here. Here we can use 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1. So that looks all good. Scroll down and save that in. That looks all good. We've got a green settings change message here. We have to update the running server. So click that one and that's all good. Next thing we can do is create a user. So under user management, we can go to user permissions. So we can put a new username in here. I'll just be our idea spot there. We can click more settings and let's set a password. Nice strong password in there. We also want to allow auto login. So click that one and that should be all good. We can save that in. Again, we'll get prompted to update the running server. So let's go ahead and do that. So we should be good to go here now. So to actually use our OpenVPN, we need to get the client to use that. So that's over on openvpn.net. Just go to VPN client, OpenVPN client. So they've got versions for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS. Go ahead and download it. I'm getting the Windows one for this demo. So that's just downloaded here. I'll just go ahead and install this thing. We'll get this welcome wizard thing. We can skip through this. Click agree. Okay. Here we go. So we just put HTTPS with our IP address there. Click next and accept. And we just put that username and password that we just set up earlier here. We can tick auto import and connect. So go ahead and accept. That'll take a second, but we're all connected on our VPN. So there we go. We've got our own open VPN running on our own server, very secure and a great way of doing this without spending any money. So that's complete. If you want to test that it's working, you can just type what's my IP address into Google. You'll see your public IP address there. It should match up with your server address now. And that shows that everything from your browser is being routed through your VPN. So that's working just fine. If you'd like more ideas for what you can do with the Oracle free uh, VPS, you can check out my blog link in the description, or I've put up tutorials for setting up WordPress. So I'll put up a couple tutorials on the end screen here. Check those out. Um, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.